है गाइस सो दिस इज माय फिफ्थ वीडियो इन एस एफ सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो विल क्रिएट अ स्नेक गेम एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न दिस होल कोड हेयर सो देर इज नथिंग मच कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इन दिस कोड बेसिक लॉजिक एंड सी प्लस प्लस बेसिक सी प्लस प्लस कोड इज देयर ओके सो लेट्स सी लेट्स रन दिस प्रोग्राम एंड सी वट इज दिस गेम ऑल अबाउट सो यू कैन सी दैट दिस गेम इज similar to our snake game and we have this snake here and it is eating its food and it is getting bigger and bigger okay and uh, whenever this snake will touch itself okay it will say that the game is over and your score will be visible on the cmd window okay so you can see that the score is visible okay now uh, most of the things in this game are just basic code from c++ we have used some classes of our uh, sfml library so we have already you know seen those functions in practice in our previous videos so that is why i have made those videos so that you can understand the basic things before creating this game okay so here we are uh, creating a window that will be divided into squares of size this and uh, accordingly we have set the size of the window okay width and height and then we have this structure here to store the position of the snake snake's part okay squares of the snake the squares that will form the snake body okay the food location will be stored in the food structure and this function is all about to you know to to update the positions of the squares that are making the snake okay and uh, so you can see i have well commented these things so you can just read them and you can understand okay and this srand function we have used and we have passed here time zero so time zero returns the system time of uh, you know system time at current you know current instance okay so and uh, whenever we will pass so whenever you will start this game you whenever you will compile uh, the time will be passed current time will be passed and uh, it will become the seed of this srand function so the sequence of random numbers that you will get will be unique okay they you cannot predict those in that sequence okay so we'll use some random values to locate our uh, food position so here uh, you can see somewhere we have used random function also s rand will be rand will be there somewhere somewhere we have used actually i am not able to find right now so we have loaded some font so font is also a class of sfml and you can use this uh, class object to load any font to set the color of the font or size of the font okay so render window we already know about this window and we have created the window using this these dimension the name of the window will be one then we have loaded three textures and we have created sprite using those textures then this delay variable is just to you know to uh, it just decides what will be the speed of your snake okay and then we have uh, initialize food location for the first point okay first time then we have opened the window we have uh, started the clock and this this thing and uh, this thing it decides what will be the speed of your snake i mean uh, how the window uh, how frequently the window will get updated okay and there we have uh, the directions okay and uh, you can see here we are drawing our grass then we are drawing our snake and we are giving the position to our food okay and then we have this string that uh, your current score and then everything is drawn to our original window because everything was drawn to buffer window right now and uh, whenever the uh, the game will happen so whenever the snake will touch itself it will say that the game is over so this is all about this uh, snake program here 
so i hope that you uh, you like this i encourage you to update this code and just uh, do some modification yourself so that you can also enjoy okay so thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to this channel in the next videos we'll talk about networking in sfml and we'll also talk about sound processing how how can you modify or how can you you know play with uh, with the sound or audio that you record somehow okay so keep watching our channel okay bye bye